when you say pain, I also think of a birth because many women are experiencing a lot of pain when, when they have to give birth and it can be very challenging. I, I, of course, I cannot speak because I, you know, but um, it's like, you know, Mother Earth is pregnant now and she's going through a tough period uh, with, with many challenges, but we are seeing a new Earth emerging. We are seeing, actually, you can say, the birth of the new human being, where we, where we will be in love, where love will be the the so-called value, you can say, the only value, real value, because the others are pseudo values. But actually, with the with the painting in, in the background of you, that's actually where we are going, where we all will, you know, we will take our own hand and forgive ourselves and forgive others, set ourselves free, set others free, and be as one. Because we have so much power, we can create everything. We can, you know, we have so many resources on this planet. Everything is possible. I think that was a... That was a good um, idea you, you said that planet Earth is giving birth because uh, when a female gives birth of course the fetus is there and it goes through a tunnel through a dark period to come to the light and very very strangely when you do hypnotic regressions with people so most people experience fear when they are being born, going through the tunnel, which they have to do to come to the light, to come to, to this world. So we are right now in the dark tunnel and the light is already there. I mean, we can sense it, we can see it, and we understand it, it's coming, but it's not yet there. How long it takes before Mother Earth has given birth to the new human being, to the new planet, frequency. I don't think anybody can say, but it is right there. And I don't think it takes too many, too many years before before the most people on this planet start seeing the huge universe from totally a different angle. And one of the things that is needed, of course, that authorities would be honest. And authorities would give the honest information about space travel, for instance because that would already open up the eyes. And if the authorities would give honest information of what we actually know, what science actually has today as knowledge, it's, it's flabbergasting. Majority doesn't know because they're dependent on, on, on normal TV, on, on normal radio, on normal um, newspapers, and those do not give very much correct information, un unfortunately. Yeah. so. The information comes from within and from other people and also now through internet, which is, I think internet is the biggest revolution that we have ever had, bigger than the industrial revolution, because it has changed the communications totally. Now the, the, anybody who can go into internet, and the young people do, they can get information from anywhere in the world in a second. Yeah. And they don't have to rely on the disinformation by the authorities. So that's, that's wonderful. But they are already shutting down a program in, in Australia, somewhere in England, and planning that usual people whom unfortunately the elite calls um, sheep or, or even cows. Mm. So they, they could be shut off from the internet. And but President Obama can do that because now he has the power. Yeah. I hope it doesn't happen. But if we do get, you know, say, when, when will we reach the light? How, how far is the light? If we just had to look in the perspective, you know, of the Mayan calendar that has been going on, let's say, for the last 5,000 years, and it has been precise all the time, then I just say, would the last two years skip, or would they miss the last two years when all the others have, have been right? But right now, in the period we're in, right now, that goes on to November 2010, it's like a revelation period where all the you know the dark things will come out of the closet and everything will come to the surface and people will have a mass awakening which is already going on sure. that's also why we see because it has to balance so we see the so-called evil powers and dark powers they're trying to to they're desperate now because they cannot keep up with the mass awakening but what will happen from you say november 210 to october 211 is actually we're going into what is called the seventh day, where we'd be much more co-creating. We would be much more, 
you could say, in alignment with ourselves. But for, of course, this is an ongoing process, so it's not something about we have to sit and wait for uh, 21, 12, uh, 2012 and see what happens. Because it's an ongoing process and we have to, you could say, climb the, uh, the you could say, the light pyramid now. We have to go up the stairs now, take the stairway to heaven, you can say. Uh, every day by aligning ourselves, by being in our center in the now, and by using our intention, our power, power of thought, uh, focus. So actually, you know, we are, we need to turn up the love, we need to turn up the compassion, the, yeah, the feeling. Well, I think it is automatically happening with the awakening of the masses. And the awakening of the masses happens through these catastrophes, partly, and also through the information that people are given, and not only the information, but their own experiences. When you yourself have had a dream, a very significant dream, for instance, um, a, a precognitive dream, which, which tells what you are experiencing in the so-called future, of course, there's no time, linear time, and there's no time in the universe. Everything happens now, but with our three-dimensional world, so we think that it's yesterday and today and tomorrow. So when you experience, for instance, a very strong precognitive dream that comes true physically afterwards, that changes your view of the world. That changes the view. How is it possible? How could I have dreamt something that I didn't know about that came true? So is it that everything is already planned? Everything is there fixed? Well, it's not fixed because you can change it. But I think these dreams also give a warning that if something is going to happen which is negative, you can change the negativity. Like somebody dreamt of a car accident, exactly saw the, how it happened. And the next day was in the car and all of a sudden saw that, hey, this is, this is it. This is the accident. So stopped and did not go through the, uh, through the crossing and avoided the car accident. So you can change the reality also. And when you have out-of-body experiences, near-death experiences, that totally changes your view of what it is to be a human being. And so far as the majority in the Western world, not in the Eastern, they believe in, 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 in reincarnation, they understand more things of, of the... I would say the psyche than the Western world, especially the white male Western world. So, so uh, when this information comes through into our hearts and into our brain, then we will change. And every day somebody realizes something. Every single day somebody comes and says, look, I had this experience. I mean, how do you explain this? Well, there's no explanation in the three-dimensional world. You have to expand your views. And we do. And that's exactly where we say we are heading into. Today is actually it's a, um, it's a day 13 in the Mayan calendar, and that's about co-creation, and that's where we are heading. And when people become, you say, wake up, become conscious, and use their power of thought right, they will realize how much they create of their own day, of their own reality. And that's it. When we look at how the media are working today, they are constantly feeding people with negative stuff, with, with violence, with, with lies, with porn, with everything that disconnect all your chakras, it makes you like dumb down, so you will not be able to actually open up and awaken, so actually the medias are dangerous, but we will be co-creating much more consciously in the period coming now, we already do, and you know, when I co-create something, and it shows up, you know, sometimes it's a bit scary because, you know, um, even if I have uh, forgot what I uh, was wishing for or remembering or whatever, you know, when it shows up, it's just so your heart starts to <laughs> because, excuse me, <laughs> who's in control here? And, and when we find out how much power we all have, you have so much power, you know, it's, it's you told earlier, you, you call yourself the pink icebreaker, you know, the loving icebreaker to to clear the path for humanity and to open doors and so but when we le realize how much power we have and how much power according to the painting in the background when we really take each other in the hand when we really connect our hearts to each other no matter if we are black blue pink gray green whatever just by being who we truly are divine beings spirit beings on an earthly mission that's right, on an earthly mission, and everybody has a mission.